I wanted to make another video on these Turkish tactical shotguns. I picked up another one. These were recently on sale, so I, I picked up another one because it was about the last one they had. Um, I wanted to go over a few things about them. And the two that I have here are the Shelby Firearms is the manufacturer and I have the Code X and the Tacticon A. The, the Code X comes as you see it with the, the folding pistol grip style stock and I've made uh, some enhancements to it from my last video. And the other one is the Tacticon A which has the traditional style of fixed stock and ghost ring sights, a heat shield, and actually this gun, uh, this gun's also a 14 inch barrel gun. It was advertised on Shelby's website as being an 18 inch, but after I got it, it it's uh, 14 inch, which doesn't really, uh, which doesn't really bother me anyways. It, with the sights on it, um, it seems to be pretty good. So I'll go over a few things about these guns. These guns are, are very well built. Everything on them, like on this one here, the, the sight protector and rail is steel. The heat shield is actually steel. And even the front sight, I know sometimes these are made of plastic, but it's actually a metal one also. And the sights are like this with a, a fully adjustable ghost string sight. And I can't tell if the the peep is plastic or not. I'm not sure, but this block here appears to be a cast metal part. And on the front, it's a, a fiber optic. But mine has a, seems to be a bubble in it or something, and it's really kind of annoying. It's it's hard to use. I'm guessing that uh, you could replace the little fiber optic. Or even you could just, which I might do in, in the future, is uh, just black this whole uh, front sight out. Um, it's really not that big a deal, but this fiber optic is not a really good quality um, high-end piece. Like, when you pay for these fiber optic sights, sometimes they're expensive and they're I think they're well worth it. When you see a, um, a cheap one like this, um, that's why you would uh, end up paying more. But everything on the Tacticon A is pretty much identical to the Code X. Um, barrel size, the chroming, the capacity, all of these parts seem to interchange. It's got the high vis magazine follower in it. And the trigger group and the, the safety, all that is the same. So I'll just go over the mod that I made to the Code X. Uh, Canuck Firearms in Canada had this um, separate forend you could buy which has these rails and the rails are actually integrated right into the uh, plastic they're not just on there there's actually a separate section here that they attach right to and in order to get this on it actually had to be fitted a little bit it's kind of tight when you get it and it just took about half hour of sanding it properly on the inside. There's sort of like ribs inside of it. Uh, maybe I'll show that when I take it apart. And you just sand it down and it went on perfectly fine. The piece that you have to pay attention to is up here at the front because it's, uh, it's squared on this. And you have to take material away from that so I'll show that in a minute too. The way these Turkish guns are they're sort of a copy of the 870 but they've sort of improved in some areas in some areas they kind of skip but one of the areas they improved was for the takedown so I'll just show how the the takedown how easy it is with uh, this gun um, with the uh, 870, you unscrew the cap and the barrel comes out and in order to take the, the bolt and the forend off, what you do is there's a, a piece in here that you have to depress and then they will come out. So 
I'll show the uh, how this is improved. You just unscrew the cap, which also has the little captive ball, which is a, a really nice feature. Not all shotguns have that, and it's a really nice to have that captive ability. And then you just take the barrel off, it just slides out. Just like that. And then the fore end will come right off. Just like that. And I'm only using one hand to do this because I'm holding my camera with the other hand. So it just comes right off like that which this is an improvement to the 870, this takedown. And then also this plate here is part with the, um, the, action, the action bars. On the 870, this is a separate piece, which I guess it didn't really need to be. So that's the improvement. The only, the only thing that I guess you could like this or not like this, but on these Turkish guns, it's a little block on the fore end and then it kind of this piece here wedges into the forend that's really the only difference between an 870 and and this gun um, you might like this system or you might like the 870 where there's a metal tube in here and there's a cap on the other end i haven't really noticed any difference in the feel of working the actions and after taking these guns apart i found that Almost every piece on them is high quality and everything seems to be the same except for there's only one part in the gun that seems to be made um, more fitted to the gun and is a little bit rough and that's this little locking block right here which um, is the critical component to the gun. Taking it apart and cleaning it all you do is push this pin out and the firing pin will come out and then that block comes out on its own. When I took it out, it has burrs on it and it's some, there's like uh, rolling on the, on the edges of the metal. And that's something that, um, I, I guess it's not critical, but it's something I would uh, take care of. And that seems to be the only part that's really sort of different from gun to gun. All it does is that piece locks into this little recess right here and it keeps it from uh, going back. That's how the gun locks just like that. But I thought I would just I would thought I would just mention that because I noticed that when uh, I was cleaning it how the two pieces are actually different how they're uh, machined is a little bit um, it's a little bit more hand fitted, but everything else seems to be uh, identical, exactly the same and high quality also. For fitting the fore end, what I wanted to show was up here, you have to remove some material because it gets caught right here. You have to sort of take it away on angles like that so that it slips on here better. Otherwise the edges could get caught on this particular gun where the little screw is right here there's a screw underneath this it was it was hitting that and it was keeping the slide from going forward so that right here needs to be uh, filed and fitted the other thing is right here you'll notice these little ribs there's a bunch of them inside that go around and you just file those off and um, just evenly do it and it it seemed to um, just need a little bit of work and then it, it fit on perfectly fine the little locking block at the back here didn't need any attention or anything it it popped on there just perfect so I wanted to just make another update video now that I have another one in the Shelby series of firearms and they seem to be just excellent quality I think that they are probably top of the line for the budget tactical shotguns 
probably second would be the domestic or American made guns. And on the bottom of the list, I would say the Chinese manufactured ones. All of them seem to be good in this price range, but since these Turkish made guns are chrome line bores and for how cheap they are, I just think that they're excellent firearms. And so far I've been pretty impressed with these ones. So other than that, um, thank you for watching.